All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Level 2 EV Charger from Watt Saving. Uh, so this guy is actually not available in stores yet or online. Uh, they have been selling in the Asian market, but they're going to be selling starting off in North America at the end of first quarter 2023. So around March, you should be seeing it for sale. Uh, so Watt Saving sent me this one, and it's a good thing they did because just last week, I used to use just my mobile connector to plug in my Tesla, and it died on me. So I had no charging. I was stranded. Uh, thankfully, this thing came in quick time, and I was able to plug in my car, and I'm back on the road. Um, so when they do release it, it's going to be roughly around $450 is what they're aiming for. Uh, if you're connecting it to or comparing it to the Tesla connector, the Tesla connector on Tesla store is $425, uh, and the J772 version is $550. So it's kind of in line with the Tesla wall connector. And other EV chargers... Uh, this one's kind of on the low end in terms of pricing, which is good. Uh, you have some really expensive ones, like in the thousands, but this one is really good for around 450. Can't go wrong. It does, however, have a really good feature of it has a these RF cards. Uh, so basically, you tap the card and it'll activate your charger. Uh, you don't need to use these, but if you are in a public setting, uh, let's say you're in a condo building, you don't want everyone to use your charger. Uh, have these RF cards, and only you can use your charger. So that's great. Uh, the other features is, obviously it's really minimalistic, uh, you have this really sleek design, just the one light for your uh, charging status and error codes. And the best part, which I love, is that it plugs directly into a 1450, so you don't need to do any sort of installation. Uh, if you have a 1450 already installed, you just plug it in, it's plug and play. Uh, it has a 24 foot cable, and a very thick, obviously it has the uh, J7072 plug. I have the uh, adapter for the Tesla connected, but if you don't need this, if you don't have a Tesla, you just plug this straight in. Uh, I do enjoy this, it's a, little, a lot thicker than Tesla ones, so it's a lot more sturdy, and the cable is a lot more sturdy than your average uh, mobile connector that I was using. Uh, it does come with a uh, cable holder. If you are, uh, if the actual charging is, charger is sitting in your garage, you can use that, cable, do your cables. Uh, but if you're outside like myself, this is outside the garage, I would recommend you do uh, one of these to keep it away from the elements. So let's go over the specifications of the Watt Saving US 10. The enclosure rating is rated for IP65, so it's good for indoor and outdoor installation. For protection, you got all of it. The warranty is good for two years. The charge cable length is 24.6 feet. The input cord, so you plug it into a NEMA 650 or a 1450. DC power is maximum of 9.6 kilowatts. All right, in terms of installation, it is the easiest thing in the world. All you have to do is install this bracket, basically screw it into some studs on this side. I use anchors on the other. If you can install a picture frame, you can install this thing. And you want to have it a bit of an offset on your outlet just because the cable is going to turn in curve in a little bit. Uh, so you just want to install this, basically line it up, and you go. That easy. Uh, there is a little screw on the other side. You want to screw it in to secure it. And then basically you're just going to plug it in. And you can see you'll, why you'll need that little uh, offset. All right. There you go. Easy. All right, so in terms of speed, uh, this thing is capable of 40 amps and 9.6 kilowatts. Uh, so a Tesla wall connector is 44 amps, so just shy of that. My car is the uh, Tesla Model 3 standard range, uh, so it has an onboard charger of 32 amps. So it can't get as high as this is capable of doing. So right now I'm getting 8 kilowatts, which is probably around uh, 30 to 35 kilometers per hour or 20 to 25 miles per hour. So uh, is doing great. I haven't had any issues with it this week. Uh, charges the car perfectly. So this charger is good for every EV, but I just want to take a second and tell you what it's like using it with a Tesla. So first off, if your car is locked, you'll either need to go through the app or inside the car to stop charging and unlock your charge port, which is annoying, but not a big deal. The other thing is, since it uses a J7072 adapter, you probably have one that came with the car, but then you're probably leaving this one at home. And unless you plan on switching it out every day, you might want to get a second one in case you want to use it on the road. So there's that. They're cheap, though, so not a big deal. Where I see this as a really good option is if you have a Tesla and a non-Tesla EV, it could uh, be a good option for charging because then you could just swap it out pretty easily. So, All right, so they aren't available in North America just yet. Look for them in about March 2023. They should be available. Uh, and I'll have the link in the description so where you can get one. And also, if I get any discount codes, I'll definitely pass them on to you so you can save some money. So look for those in the description below. Um, Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video. And also hit that little notification bell so you get notified of when I do release a video, which is about every week or so. 
And also check out my merch store, which is just down below this video right here. Uh, this t-shirt is uh, designed by myself. Uh, they're all designed by my, me, actually. This one is a DC schematic of a, sorry, it's a schematic of a DC motor. So uh, all your EV lovers out there, check them out, get one today. All right, so thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing... I can't talk. All right, so in terms of test this video as well... No. All right, like I said, they aren't selling in... Uh, All right, like I said, they aren't selling in... All right, so like I said, they aren't available in North America. Uh, look for them in about March. DC Motor Schematic. And uh, yeah, check them back in the description when uh, they do. Birds, go away! Excuse me. Okay, we're back.